we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> A couple of quacks. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, stethoscopes. And doctor coats. Let's be doctors. Yeah, we'll be fun doctors that always keep our patients happy. Go, go kitty kitties, let's, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to the hospital, ready to take care of their first patients. Doctors, these ducks are sick. And if we don't get them better right away, they won't be able to dance in the ballet tonight. What should we do? It's all here on the paper, and everything you need is there on the table. You can count on us. Okay, ducks, order number one. It's time for some warm algae soup. <laughs> we won't eat it. Of course not. You and I hate when Mom gives us yucky medicine. Yeah, that's no fun. Let's give him something that tastes better. Like candy. <laughs> the Fun Doctors! Order number two. Keep their heads covered. <laughs> Too itchy, huh? Then let's just cover their heads with these. Isn't that much more fun than those itchy hats? <laughs> the Fun Doctors! All right now, order number three. Stay in bed. I know you're not tired, but you need to rest. He's right. They do need to practice their dance. Well, they just have to stay in bed, so I guess it's okay if they practice there. <laughs> the Fun Doctors! <laughs> huh? Good heavens! These ducks aren't getting better. They've gotten worse. Much worse. I'll call the theater and tell them they have to cancel tonight's show. The ducks sure aren't having fun now. Me neither. Me neither. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, doctors? We were supposed to help the ducks get better so they could dance in the ballet tonight. But they didn't get better, and now they have to miss it. Well, how did you treat them? We tried to make things as fun as we could for them. Because what the head doctor wanted us to do wasn't fun at all. Well, did they have fun? Of course. They got to eat candy and wear funny hats and jump up and down on the bed. And did having fun help them get better? No, it just made them sicker. Hey, I understand. Trying to get well when you're sick might not be fun. But if you do the right things, you'll have a whole lot more fun when you're all better. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's try again, Kit. But this time, let's not be fun doctors. Let's just be good doctors. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their doctor adventure all over again, but this time they made the ducks do just what the doctor ordered. I know it's yucky, but it'll help you get better. Now that's a smart duck. Now let's get these warm hats on. And stay under those covers, guys. You need your rest. The good doctor! Well, how are our little feathered friends? Excellent work, doctors. A full recovery, and just in time. And by being good doctors, Kit and Kate helped the ducks get better in time for their Duck Lake debut. Now this is fun. <laughs> <laughs>
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Hair and share alike. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, a hairbrush. And a comb. We can make pretty hairdos. For poodles. In Poodleville. Yeah. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran down the fanciest street in Poodleville, straight to their very own hair salon. Oh, it's fabulous. Yeah, I can't wait for our first customer. You mean Custy Mills. Woofy and Puffy Poodle. Wow! We are competing tonight in the Wolfminster Dog Show. And we need chic new hairdos. What style? Amazing. amazing. Then amazing it is. Have a seat. Let's get started, Miss Poofy. Kit, if we do a good job, everyone will come to our salon. Yeah, and I'm going to make Woofy just wow. Now, let's see. I'll need curlers, this gel, ribbon, sparkles, and this fur dye. That's everything. Okay, Woofy, a few curlers ought to do the trick. Ooh, the curlers! Voila! Now gel. Ooh, curlers. Great idea. No, Kate, those are mine. I took them off the shelf. But you're not using all of them. Doesn't matter. They're mine. Fine. Hmm. Some ribbon would be nice. Yes, ribbon. Divine. No, Kate, that's my ribbon. But there's plenty for both of us. But it's my ribbon. Then this is going to be my fur color. Hey, give it back, or Wolfie won't be beautiful. Uh, the nerve. Uh, outrageous. Uh, hey, let go. You let go. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. Is not. Is too. Let, let it go. go. Oh. Disaster. You'll, You'll never, never style in this town again! again. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Whoa. They're the worst hairdos i ever seen! Uh, what did we do? Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were supposed to make the poodles amazing hairdos, but all we made was an amazing mess. How'd that happen? Kate grabbed the fur color, and it spilled everywhere. Why did you grab it? Because Kit wouldn't share it. He wouldn't share anything. Because it was mine. Yours? Did you bring everything from home? No, I got everything from the shelf. But aren't those things for everyone to use? Yeah, but I needed them. So did I. And what would have happened if you'd shared? Well, I guess Kate wouldn't have gotten mad, and then the fur color wouldn't have spilled, and the poodles wouldn't have run away. Hey, I understand. If you share, then everyone gets a chance to do what they want to do. Said with style. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll share all the supplies, no matter who gets them first. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their poodle styling adventure all over again. But this time... Kate, try these curlers. I've got plenty. Thanks. Here, try putting mousse on the curlers. Wow! And here's some ribbon for a bow. Now, let's give them each a touch of color. Show me how. Like this. Voila! Très magnifique! <laughs> With these doggy doos, we're sure to win the dog show. How about one for the cat? Smile pretty! Simply stunning! Who did your hair? Kit and Kate, of course. We'd never use anyone else. Thanks to Kit and Kate, Woofy and Puffy won first prize at the dog show. And that's nothing to bark at. We did it! We did it! Woohoo! Where will we go? Who will we be? 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> home sweet home. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, an invitation. Hansel and Gretel have invited us to lunch at their gingerbread house. When? Right now. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight through the woods to Hansel and Gretel's gingerbread house. Oh, Goldie, you made it! Wow, those chair legs look like peppermint sticks. That's because they are peppermint sticks. You mean you can eat all of this? Yeah, sure. Mmm, what smells so good? That's the special lunch we made just for you. Cream soup and fish fritters. Those are our favorites. And there's a special surprise for dessert. What, what is, is it? it? If we told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. We'll be right back with the soup. Mmm, this candlestick tastes like licorice. And this lamp tastes like a sugar cookie. Yummy. I wonder what these crayons taste like. <gasps> Yuck, like, like crayons. crayons. Kate, the television looks like chocolate. It is chocolate. Mm. Lunch is served. First course, dreamy, creamy soup. Ooh. Sorry, I guess we're just not hungry for soup. It's okay. You love the next course, fish fritters. Sorry, we can't eat that either. What a shame. We made them just for you. Yeah, well, we'll just have to go straight to the big surprise. Five layer triple chocolate fudge cake. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't eat a bite. <laughs> but we worked so hard to make your favorites. Oh, we really hurt their feelings. I feel terrible. And so does my stomach. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kitties? We ruined the lunch Hansel and Gretel made for us. How did you ruin it? We didn't eat any of the food they made. Not the cream soup or the fish fritters or the triple fudge cake. You don't like those foods? Are you kidding? We love them. Then why didn't you eat them? We weren't hungry. How come? Did you eat lunch before you came? No, but I did eat some licorice candlestick. And I ate some sugar cookie lamp. And we shared the whole TV set. But why did you eat all that candy if it was almost lunchtime? Because it tasted so good. And how did lunch taste after all of that candy? We don't know, because it ruined our appetites. And Hansel and Gretel's feelings. I understand. Sweets taste delicious, but too many of them can really spoil your appetite. And that can make the whole meal a lot less fun for everyone. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. Only this time, we'll wait until after lunch to eat sweets. So everyone can enjoy the meal together. Now, now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their gingerbread house adventure all over again. But this time when they saw all of the sweet things. A licorice candlestick. I bet it's delicious. Not as delicious as the sugar cookie lamp. Or this chocolate television. Want a taste? Just a tiny one. We don't want to spoil our appetites. Mm, lunch, lunch is served. And by not spoiling their appetites, Kit and Kate were able to enjoy the most delicious lunch they'd ever had. Five layer triple chocolate fudge cake. Just a little piece, please. Yeah, we want to save room for some TV. <laughs> <laughs> Who will we be? What will we do? Who 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Too few clues. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, detective hats. And magnifying glasses. Let's be detectives. Yeah, and catch a thief. Hurry, there's no time to waste. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the scene of the crime, the Royal Gallery. Thank goodness you're here. Someone's stolen one of our three jeweled treasures, the emerald egg. Did anyone see the thief? Yes, there were three witnesses. They saw who took it. What did you see? <coughs> he says the thief was gray with big ears. Hurry, let's get him. <coughs> Sorry, there's no time to waste. The thief might get away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It didn't take long for the detectives to find who fit the clues. Ta-da! Here's your thief. You see, he's gray. And has big ears. I ain't done nothing. <coughs> what do you mean it's not him? He's gray with big ears. Then who just stole the ruby raspberry? It's gone. gone. Looks like you didn't do it, Mouse. You're telling me. We need more information, fast. So what did you see? <coughs> he had a long nose, too? Gray, big ears, long nose. Got it. Let's go, Kate. <coughs> No, no time. time! We've got, got a thief to catch! Whoa. And with their new clue, the detectives found their next suspect in no time at all. We got your thief! I didn't take anything. <coughs> what? Of course he's the thief. He's gray with big ears and a long nose. Then who stole the diamond donut? Huh? All three treasures gone. Now we have to close the museum. And by the way, you're fired! <coughs> this is awful. How did we mess up so badly? I haven't got a clue. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Extra bad detectives ruin case. That's us. We kept catching the wrong guy. Weren't there witnesses to give you clues? Three. The first one said the thief was gray with big ears, so he ran and caught a mouse. But he wasn't the thief. The second one said he had a long nose, too. So he ran and caught an aardvark. But it wasn't him, either. What'd the third witness say? We didn't ask. It was taking too much time, so we ran. Too much time? But didn't catching the wrong guys take even more time? Well, yeah. And that just helped the thief steal more treasures. Hey, I get it. When you rush and do something before getting all the facts, you end up getting the wrong answer. Sounds like you finally got a clue. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Kit, let's try again. But this time we'll get all the clues first. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their investigation all over again, but this time they made sure to get all the clues before trying to figure out who the thief was. Gray, big ears, long nose, and really big. Like him? Mm-hmm. May we look in your bucket? The emerald egg! The ruby raspberry! And the diamond donut! Great work, Kit and Kate. You saved the jewels and the museum. Okay, mister. Why'd you do it? I want to be a pirate, and I need treasure to lock up in me treasure chest. The only thing that's gonna get locked up is you in jail. And by getting all the facts before jumping into action, Kit and Kate solved the mystery and got their man. Uh, I mean, elephant. Extra, extra, clever kitties, crack case. Yeah! Woo! We did it! Yeah! We did it! We did it! Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Drop everything. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate! Flight jackets! Let's work on a cargo plane! Yeah! And we can deliver things all over the world! Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and reported to work at the airport. Ready for duty, sir! Kittens, I need you to sort out these supplies, pack them into these crates, and load them onto the plane. We'll deliver them later today. Yes, sir! The tools go in the yellow crate. The soccer equipment goes in the blue crate. And the fishing supplies go in the red crate. Yes, sir! And don't be dawdling, because you never know when we'll get that call to take off. Yes, sir! Kit and Kate got right to work, sorting the cargo into the different boxes. This saw goes here in the yellow box with the tools. And this fishing line goes here in the red box. And this soccer ball goes... Hey, Kate, catch! Kit and Kate found so many fun things to do that pretty soon they forgot all about getting those crates packed up. Hello? Time for takeoff. Take your places on the plane. Yes, sir. What do we do, Kit? We barely packed anything. Just throw everything into the crates. But... Hurry! The plane took off, and soon Kit and Kate were high in the sky. Attention, kittens! We're coming up on the drop sites. Drop the cargo box that matches the color light. Yes, yes sir. sir! It's yellow, the tool crate. It's blue, the soccer crate. It's red, the fishing crate. But when the yellow crate landed, Builder Duck couldn't find what he needed to build his house. And when the blue crate landed, Soccer Duck couldn't find anything he needed for his game that day. And when the red crate landed, Fisherman Duck couldn't find anything to go fishing with. Whew. Looks like we did it, Kate. Kittens, I just got radio calls from the drop sites. The supplies were all mixed up, and now none of the ducks can do what they needed to do. Sorry, Sorry sir. Hmm. Wow, we ruined everything. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We packed all the crates wrong. And now none of the ducks got what they needed. How come you packed the crates wrong? Was it too complicated? No, it was easy. So there wasn't enough time, is that it? There was plenty of time, but we used it up playing games. Well, did you have fun playing? Yeah, we had fun, but now the ducks are having a terrible time. Oh, I understand. When you have a job to do, you need to finish it before you start playing. Otherwise, you might run out of time. Thanks, Dad! Hey! How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time we won't play around until after we finish our job. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their airport adventure all over again. But this time... The saw goes here in the yellow box. This fishing line goes here in the red box. And this soccer ball goes here in the blue box. Kid and Kate finished packing everything into the crates without playing around. And this time when they dropped them, the ducks got exactly the supplies they needed. Congratulations, kittens, on a job well done. And now it's time for something else. Yes, sir? It's time to play. Yes, sir! Yay! Kate, catch! <laughs>